Three and a half years ago, I had a perforated duodenal stomach ulcer, um, and I was hospitalized for seven days, and had a lot of abdominal pain and undigested food, and a lot of cramping thereafter. Um, and then roughly 15 months after the surgery, I was diagnosed with a condition as atrial venous malformations in the small intestine. And I was given tons of medication, and with that it was a uh, gastroenterologist, my primary medical doctor. Uh, I had consulted even my gynecologist too for further recommendations. I saw a specialist down at Abbott Hospital in Minneapolis, and um, then I, I also sought help with the chiropractor. I was sitting in class one day, and I was describing to pain the problems that I had had, and. I was having blood loss in the stool and my hemoglobin went down to a 6.3, or excuse me, 6.7 um, due to the blood loss and that's when I had caught the AVMs and things like, you know, you should come see me for some Qigong, I can help you with it. And I was very skeptical, but uh, obviously it worked and I've been feeling great. I had two sessions. After the first session, I felt great, uh, rejuvenated. I ate foods that I had not previously been able to eat due to having uh, blood in the stool with eating those foods. Um, I didn't have to go home and take a nap, which usually most of the time I eat and have to take a nap. I felt energy, felt great for about 10, 15 days. I went back, saw paying for a visit number two, I believe it was two weeks later. Um, and after the second treatment, I didn't, the second treatment I had less sensation of tingling and numbness type, the, that kind of sensation, more of it was just focused in and around the stomach. And then after the treatment, I actually had a bowel movement with quite a bit, or some blood loss, quite a bit of mucus and whatnot. But after that, I had just two episodes since, whereas prior to being treated with pain, I, was having them um, basically every 14 days, blood loss for the last year and a half. So, dramatic improvements. So I also went in and then, and I had the AVMs that can cauterize, and so I went into my Western medical doctor and they decided to do an endoscope, and at which time what they would do is cauterize those AVMs. Uh, they went in to go to the procedure and went down with the scope and doctor could not find any of the AVMs at all throughout the small intestine, which only 15 months earlier they had them. And I was able to actually see pictures of the AVMs 15 months ago. And then um, he told me that they didn't, couldn't find them and then showed me pictures of what he saw and he said it looked like a completely new stomach and intestine. Um, along with that, they also did do pictures of the colon, too. I had a colonoscopy done, and same thing. The colon looked phenomenal. There was no scarring and no tissue breakage. So, something definitely happened. The first picture, I don't know if you, anybody's ever seen pictures of gastritis, but like textbook gastritis is very black and yucky and tarry sensation, and I actually did bring them. And that's uh, this here in which you can see the discoloration. And then these are, so it's dated April of 2006. And then this was in August of 2007. And I saw Peng in July, in, the first, in June and July. Um, and these are the same area. So dramatic difference between the two. So. Pretty phenomenal, and my GI doctor is very impressed. Being in class with Bang, it it's it definitely I can tell because he can walk by me and I can feel stuff within my stomach. For instance, if he steps right next to me, sometimes I'll just kind of have like really weird twinges in my stomach and my abdomen and places where I had with the Qigong session I had like a sword in my shoulder and stomach area. And in that same area where he pulled that out, I can feel just 
like weird sensations. I think for all those people that are skeptical out there, it's something that you, you just have to try it. You got to do it. It works. It's better than taking medication. It's natural. 